Hey, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new. This video I'm going to be talking about neutrals. I, like many other thrifters, have a lot of quite statement pieces in my wardrobe which are bright colours, bold prints and they don't necessarily play well together. So this week I went thrifting for neutrals. I was looking for some basic pieces but all in neutral colours, um, creams, tans, browns, um, quite autumnal actually, I'm, I've got a bit of a fall vibe going on. Um, but I thought that if I get some neutrals, I will be able to mix and match some of those colourful um, patterned pieces and get more wear out of everything. So let's get into the haul. Okay, this one might be familiar to you if you watched the video from last week. So this is another Nicole Fari top. Hopefully you can see the label. I went in to the same charity shop that I went in to get my other Nicole Fari top and lo and behold this one was there <laughs> in virtually the same place as the last one. The last one's a lovely warm brown, this is a nice cream. It's the same boxy style, it's the same size and it was the same price, it was £4. And it's got nice cream buttons here, very slightly tortoise shell, really lovely. Yeah, it's just... It's a really nice top. Again, it's 100% linen and there is a difference in quality between the linen of this top and the linen from high street shops. I've assumed that this is better quality because it's slightly smoother, slightly lighter, slightly softer and the linen from high street brands can be slightly rougher. Now, I'm not a linen expert but my preference is for slightly smoother, slightly softer fabric so I'm assuming that it's slightly better quality. That's a lot of slightly. <laughs> anyway, I really like this top. I was pleased to get it for four pounds. Okay, the elephant in the room. Let's check out those creases. <laughs> I'm not getting on great with linen because I don't love to iron, but never mind. So this piece is quite versatile. I can wear it done up for the boxy shape or I can undo it and wear it as a cover up if I want to. Okay. This next one I bought for my husband and he didn't want it. So this is a men's medium and it is a Ralph Lauren shirt. So I don't, I'm not sure how you describe this. It's not really a stone. It's not really, I think of khaki as green, but it's camel and it's not camel either. I don't, it's a, it's a, a really hard to define <laughs> neutral shade. But it's quite a light material. It's Ralph Lauren obviously, so it's good quality. And I thought if my husband doesn't want it, I will have it and I'll wear it to throw over when it's a little bit cooler as it is today. <laughs> so I like that. I like that. I like it. It goes well with jeans. I like the uh, the combination. This was £5.99. So this is one of the pricier pieces, but I assume it's because it was Ralph Lauren. Okay, unsurprisingly, this is quite a boyish look because it isn't a man's shirt, but I really like it. Something a bit different for me. A little bit grungy. <laughs> This next piece, I think is my favourite of the haul. It's really slinky, I really love it. So it's from Votre Nom, no attempt at a French accent there quite clearly. Um, and it is 100% silk. I don't think I've ever had 100% silk before and it's just so lovely. Look at the ruffle detail down the front of the placket, it's so pretty. And there's another little detail on here as well, so we've got teeny tiny little cufflinks hopefully you can see them they're really pretty this was um this was eight pounds and it is more than i would normally spend i normally draw the limit at about fiver but i think the reason it was eight pounds is because it came with tags so it was brand new with tags and on the tag it had been handwritten 99 pounds over the top of the original price so, but it's oh it's the quality is so nice i can't believe i paid eight i got it for eight pounds i'm really pleased and it's I found it quite by accident because I don't normally, I try not to buy black tops and you might smile when I say that because the next one I have to show you is black top. <laughs> um, I try not to buy black because I find it can be quite draining so I need to wear more makeup to compensate for it. That's my personal preference. So I normally skim through the black tops but this time I was just going through and feeling the material and I felt this I thought oh that feels different to not, that feels different to all of the others. It feels really nice and lo and behold it was 100% silk. So I guess my, my lesson from that is that, and this is something you don't get with online shopping, you have to feel the quality of the clothing to understand what you're buying and whether it's a bargain. And this really was, love it. 
I love this one so much. It's so stylish and chic and it makes me feel great when I wear it. I can dress it up with skirts and trousers and I can dress it slightly down with jeans. Okay, as I said, this is another black top. So I try really hard not to buy too much black because otherwise it has a propensity to take over my wardrobe and I end up with loads of it. Um, and I just want a few key pieces here and there. So this one is from Robert Friedman. This is 100% linen and it's a longer shirt. And I think this might work well as a, as a, a throw over as well when it's a little bit cooler. So I can just wear a t-shirt and if I get cold, I can bung this over the top. I like the chunky buttons. I've got to think about chunky buttons at the moment, kind of channeling that 80s vibe. And they're, I don't know if you can see, they're a pearlescent kind of almost charcoal grey, but they're really pretty. And again, this was found through just kind of manhandling the fabric. <laughs> so I find this interesting because this is 100% linen. The Nicole Fari piece that I showed you is 100% linen. And then some of my, um, my high street pieces that I've got are also 100% linen. But the quality varies and it's subtle, but it is a bit different. It feels less coarse, it feels smoother, it feels softer. Um, so I think it's worth that a feel test. <laughs> That sounds really hideous. The feel test is definitely worth doing. Okay, when I tried this on, I realized there was something I could do that was a little bit different. Um, I could actually tie the front. <laughs> so it obviously becomes a little bit cropped, but I can pull it down slightly. The only problem is the back, I need to tuck it in. Okay, next, this is a Marks and Spencer's piece. And it's this lovely cream blouse, really floaty. It's got some... Uh, nice little cream buttons on there as well. So what I love about this is that it it pretty much goes with everything I have. <laughs> I've tried it on with jeans, I've tried it on with my trousers, I've tried it on with my skirts, and it's just one of those wonderful versatile pieces that will go with everything. And I've dressed it up with a few statement um, necklaces, which I'll show you in a second. And I think it's just, it's so versatile, it's really, it's really flattering, I really like it. So this was four pounds and this is a case in point. So this is 100% polyester and it feels okay. It feels, it feels all right for polyester. But the, the point I guess I want to make is that this was four pounds and then we've got some lovely designer linen for four pounds as well. So don't just check the price tags and check the labels, but also check the material. I'm gonna belabor that point in this video because I think it's really key. You need to feel it. <laughs> you need to know what you're buying. Um, and that is why, I'm not so keen on online shopping. Love, love, love the look of this. It's so smart and so chic. I feel great in it. Okay, these are my tan cords. These are from Marks and Spencers as well originally and they're high-waisted. Uh, not tight-fitting, which is good. They're, kind of, they're slightly on the loose side, so they're quite flattery. Oh, I just love it. I love cords. These are these are quite warm, as you might expect, being cords. Um, they're slightly cropped as well, only slightly, and that might just be because I'm tall, so they might not. <laughs> they just might not fit right, but they fit right in the. They fit wrong in the right way. <laughs> but again, this is a really nice warm color, nice warm tone, um, fall autumn color, which I really like. And I can combine this with so many different things. It's really versatile. I've got a few different pairs of Chelsea boots as well that I want to wear with them. In the winter, I pretty much live in Chelsea boots. Oh, they're so comfy. They're quite stylish and I've got different colours so I can mix and match. And these will go well with those. I don't know if I said, but these were £3.50. And for a good quality pair of trousers that I'll get loads of wear out of, that's just a bargain. <laughs> Not much to say about these other than they are comfy and warm. Okay, these may have made an appearance before. I got these in another haul and I think I may have held on to them to combine them with my neutrals, full disclosure, but I can't remember. <laughs> so anyway, you may have seen them before, you may not have done. But these are some brown jeggings, from, again from Marks and Spencers. I thrift a lot from Marks and Spencers. I like the quality, generally. So these are high-waisted brown jeggings. I can note to myself to, um, to not buy such tight trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a rock star. <laughs> so anyway, here are my brown cords. And again, these will go with most things. It works well with the uh, the cream blouse that I showed you. Um, it works well with all of my graphic tees. Um, even my orange shirt, the orange flamenco and pumpkin baby shirt. 
<laughs> I'll link that above. <laughs> it goes well with that. It, that looks really autumnal. Obviously, orange and brown, it looks really lush. So these were three pounds. So again, a real steal. I'm really chuffed with that. Malting hair. Okay. And I will wear these with my, um, oh, I just said it. I just said it. What are they called? Chelsea boots. I'll wear these with my Chelsea boots. I've got some brown ones. I've got some snakeskin ones. I've got some maroon ones. I've got some black ones. So the only ones I might not wear are the black, but everything else versatile. As these are quite tight, I have tied a shirt around my waist and I will probably wear something covering up my bum <laughs> when I wear these. Um, I got distracted by my dog. This is Vinny. He's so cute. I love him. This was Hello, a Vinny. really interesting thrift for me because it taught me a couple of things. It taught me first that, yes, just because something is amazing and unique and colourful and bright, it won't necessarily go with everything in my wardrobe and I need to remember that when I buy. It taught me that neutrals are amazing. Sometimes they look a bit boring on their own, but they're really key to bringing out something else's shine. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my content, then please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate your support. Uh, have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.